Hi everybody, Andrew Waddell here for TouchProducer.com and today I am bringing you a review of Christian Bacarge's electronic piano synthesizer. I've seen a few requests for uh, reviews, video tours of this uh, app around, so uh, here it is. It's a synthesis based app, there weren't any samples used in its creation, oh, everything's uh, computed on the fly based on a sound engine that the developers designed himself <coughs> which means it only takes up uh, 1.8 megabytes which is handy if you're on the 16 gig iPad and you're running out of room now the interface is uh, it's quite legible the controls are fairly easy to manipulate if you've uh, read some of my written reviews you'll know that I'm a bit of a stickler for controls that you can't manipulate precisely on the fly but uh, all the controls all the buttons all work pretty well even some of these smaller ones you can get your fat fingers in there and play with them pretty easily if your fingers are as fat as mine so to start off we've got the electronic piano model at the left hand side and we've got one we've got two different models And this one you can up tune it, which it does by default. It's also polyphonic, which is quite handy. And that switch above the up tunes are variation switch. Now underneath that we've got uh, ratio controls, which are sort of similar to detuning an oscillator. And then next then we have the main decay, which will control both of these, but you can control them individually. And next to that we've got the release, which can go from absolutely nothing to very long releases, quite good if you're doing more ambient experimental stuff. Underneath that we have a feedback generator. Let's just wind these back up. If you do it right, you can get some really nice analog sounds out of it. Turn that down again. Now in the middle section, you have a window for viewing the waveform. As you might have seen, it goes um, it goes pretty well on the iPad one, but I suspect the frame rate will be a little quicker on the iPad two. Will be a little higher. 
But underneath that we've got modulation controls and you can modulate with uh, vibrato. You can get quite a serious vibrato in there. And you can do the same level with the tremolo. Now underneath that you have controls to these four buttons and what these four buttons will do is they'll change the sine wave modulation which is on by default to square wave Now what the buttons next to those will do <coughs> is they will copy the LFO speed from the opposite knob so that they will stay in sync. Now it will be nice to be able to move one to move both simultaneously to have them locked together but as long as you remember what's right and what's left that method is actually fairly useful. Now on the right we've got the uh, sound library. The developers included 21 sounds, I've done a few myself and there are variations on electronic pianos harpsichords various other percussion a couple of synth pads some bass and brass. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to load up one that I've done myself. And show you. Let's take all that off. The uh, delay and the tube overdrive sections. Now there are delay, time, and feedback for each model again. So, let's take some of that decay off. Cross feedback. And the master level for the delay. Underneath that there is the tube overdrive section. And 
you wind that all the way up, you can get You can get some really nice analog sounding to my ears anyway distortion in there. Now there is a small menu as well. Uh, you can change the size of the keys but you can't move the keys around and there's no octave up or octave down switches. You can bring up a second keyboard to alleviate the problem but as you've just seen it removes half the controls. And you can show and hide the status bar just so you can check how much battery you've used. There's an about dialogue. It's just, uh, here's all the credits for uh, the developer. And the manual. The manual is quite short and fairly easy to read and it all makes quite a bit of sense. Now since I did the first part of the review Christian has updated electronic piano synthesizer and has included a much wider range of options in the menu not only that, but he's also included Core MIDI, which is the one thing that I thought this app could really benefit from. But the other things that you can change are uh, linear and rotary control of knobs, you can change your tuning, and your MIDI parameters. So now that it has Core MIDI, I can't think of any reason not to buy Electronic Piano Synthesizer, especially for $2.99. I'm Andrew Woodell, and I'll be back with more reviews later on.